Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you had a great Christmas and welcome back to my channel, World War II Airborne Collector. And today I'm going to be talking about carrier pigeons and how crucial they was during World War II and some equipment um, that they would use, especially on D-Day, um, to get their pigeons on the ground for power troops to use them to then send your crucial messages back to the UK. So, here we have one pigeon container. Can't quite see it in this full shot, so we have to kind of work with this. Um, so this would have, would this would have held eight carrier pigeons inside. Um, so it's a metal construction, as you can see there, bottom of the grill and the bottom, with a canvas around the around the edge. Um, comes with four lines, bit of heavy stitching, and then a spring-loaded clip at the top. Um, like I say, this would have carried eight. And this would have came in a box, which I have got. Now this um, would have collapsed. All these sides down here, they've got like little clips on the inside. I don't think you can sort of see it, like loads of them. Oh, pointing the wrong way, around here. That would all make this container drop and go flat pack. And it would have came in this box, made by a company called Baseball. This is package number two of the full kit that they would have used. So then package number one would be the power chute in its original box. Now this is pretty cool how this would have been used. Is So luckily and unluckily, it's the top has been open. So inside you can see the chute. There's a little tag saying do not open until ready to use. So what happens is there's another little hook at the top of that, in the top of this box. Now that spring-loaded clip on top of the container, this one, gets hooked up onto the top of the clip in this one. So you would then, it would be kind of a bit of a two-man operation or you'd just kick it out the door as holding the box like that, which would then pull the chute outside the box, hopefully open and then drop their um, pigeons to the ground. So, once this pigeon box is then on the ground, you then open it. It's like a little locking mechanism at the top here, a little sliding thing. Slide that back. That then opens. And then you can get your pigeon out. <laughs> and then you get a little messenger. A little message bottle that clips onto the leg of the pigeon. So you'd unscrew that, put the message inside close it back up and go, now usually the message on that is, now I believe it was in the first few hours of the power troopers landing, they needed to send a note stating where they was, um, and I think it was casualties and what the enemy strength was. Because otherwise, there was no real radio power at that point to get a message from where they was in Normandy all the way to the UK. So they used carrier pigeons. Um, so this is another alternative as well, and you, there's a few photos dotted around of power troopers having this on top of their, on top of their reserve chute. So that's like a little case that goes over the top of them. This flap would then go underneath the breast, and then you got a couple of strings to go through the eyelet holes that are there to tie it all up, and then you then got a canvas strap. Um, so that's quite cool. But yeah, that is really the full pigeon kit, really, to be fair, of this type. Now there was, they also did use, um, I think it was a British invention, and it was literally a cardboard tube, and you could get one or two pigeons in that, and that's what the power tube was used as well. But this was a way of getting more than one or two on the ground to be used by the signal corps. But yeah. So one pigeon drop container, power chute inside, and the original box that the container would have came in. And like I say, where it's really flat, it's got a tin foil water protection liner inside. And like I say, flat pack would have come into that. But yeah, it's quite a little neat thing. You don't see it a lot at all, and they're um, quite rare to find these days. But hopefully this has been a little bit of an insight of just saying how actual crucial pigeons were back in that day. It seems totally mad now, but they was used quite a lot. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully it's been a little bit helpful this video. And um, yeah, check me out on Instagram as well. That's World War II Airborne Collector as well. Got a load more stuff on there for if you're interested in the Airborne stuff. But yeah, great. Thank you.